This video will give you an overview of how to use RGD's JBrowse Genome Browser. The browser can be accessed from the link on the RGD homepage, from the links on the Genome Tools page, or from links in the position and model sections of an RGD gene page. The JBrowse page has two major sections, the Available Tracks menu on the left side of the page and the browser itself on the right. The browser has three sections, the blue menu bar at the top, the navigation tools below that, and the tracks data display at the bottom occupying most of the window. Beginning at the top, RGD has versions of JBrowse for the three most recent genome assemblies for RAT, as well as versions for mouse and human. These are all accessible from the genome menu at the top of the page. Note that the assembly currently being viewed is indicated by bold text in the list. Other menu items include options for displaying track data from external sources, and for highlighting regions of the genome, and general information about JBrowse. The share link displays a URL for the exact genomic region and specific tracks that you are viewing so you can share the exact view with a colleague or save it for your own records. Below the blue menu bar at the top of the JBrowse window are the navigation tools. The top number bar shows positions across the entire chromosome currently being viewed. The red box circumscribes the area of the chromosome being displayed in the detail view below it. The blue shaded triangular area emanating from the red box links to the chromosome level view to the detail view indicated by the second number bar below the navigation tools. In this case, we are looking at a region of rat chromosome 10 from about 89,162,000 to 89,212,000. The navigation tools between the number bars include arrow buttons, which move the display either left or right one screen width. Zooming out can be accomplished using the minus magnifying glass icons or clicking and dragging on a larger region of the full chromosome number bar. As you would expect, the amount of zoom that results is larger for the larger icon and smaller for the smaller icon. Notice that when you are zoomed out far enough, the genes tracks change from showing individual genes and or transcripts to a feature density histogram display indicating the number of genes in each region along the chromosome. From this view, you can click and drag a similar area on either number bar or use the plus magnifying glass icons to zoom in. The next item of the navigation panel is a drop-down list of chromosome numbers which can be used to change the display to a different chromosome. Alternatively, you can use the text box beside it. This box, which by default shows the exact nucleotide position being displayed below it, can also be used as a search box. If you know the chromosomal position of the region you are interested in viewing, you can enter this into the search slash position box in the format chromosome number, colon, start position, two dots, and stop position. Alternatively, you can enter the symbol or the name of an object in JBrowse to navigate to that object. When you start typing, for example, entering WNK into the box, it brings up a list of possible matches for your search. Select the last item in the list, WNK4, and click Go to navigate to that region of the genome. To view a slightly larger region, click the small Zoom Out button. You can move the view up or down the chromosome by clicking on one of the number bars to recenter the displayed region at that point, or by clicking and dragging the display. Doing this moves the view without altering the size of the region displayed. Tracks in the browser display can be turned on or off using the available tracks menu on the left hand side of the page. Here, you can see the list of categories for which tracks are available. The number to the right of the category title gives you the number of individual tracks available in that category. So there are 81 disease-related tracks, but only one track with reference data. The filter tracks box at the top of the page lets you enter a term, such as cardio, and the list of available tracks is then limited to the ones that match the filter term entered. In the case of cardio, the available tracks are reduced to three disease-related tracks, making it easier to find the tracks you want. Checking a box beside a track name turns that track on, placing it at the bottom of the display to the right. Unchecking it turns the track off. Click the red X in the filter box to restore the full list of available tracks. If you selected one or more of the tracks in the filtered view, the selection remains when the full view is restored. 
click on the track category header to collapse the list of tracks in that category. Doing this does not turn off any previously selected tracks. At this point, the view in the browser shows four tracks. Two, the RGD Rat Genes and Transcripts track and the RGD Rat Transcripts tracks show transcripts or splice variants for each gene. The other two, the RGD Rat Genes track and the Cardiovascular Diseases Related Genes, show just the genes without giving details of the exon structure. As you can see here, WNK4 has multiple transcripts, whereas other genes in the display, such as RAMP2 and VPS25, only have a single transcript each. Clicking on a gene object, in this case the group of transcripts for WNK4 brings up a pop-up with information about the gene and a variety of links, including links to the RGD gene page, the exact location of the gene in JBrowse, external database records for the gene and its proteins, and the RGD annotation analysis for this gene in the Gene Annotator tool. Click the OK button, or X in the upper right corner of the pop-up, or click anywhere in the browser display to close the pop-up. The pop-ups show information specific for that data type and the object that was clicked. For instance, in the transcripts only track clicking one of the transcripts brings up information about that particular RNA. The disease related tracks and the gene chemical interaction tracks categories are both populated based on the RGD's ontology annotations, meaning that only objects with annotations to a particular category of terms will appear in the tracks for that category. Pop-ups for these objects list the annotations related to the selected category, in this case, cardiomegaly, hypertension, etc. There are a number of menu items which can be accessed from the track title in the browser. The circle with the X in it turns the track off. You'll notice that the track title becomes more opaque when you mouse over it. At the right end of the title, there is a down arrow. Click this to access options for adjusting the track display and saving the data from that particular track. Options for saving the data depend on the type of track you choose. The track order in the browser display can be changed by dragging and dropping tracks. Click on the track title and drag the track until a line appears at the position you want it to occupy. Then release the mouse button to drop the track there. Two of the data types in JBrowse, the QTLs and the congenic strains, include objects that are often quite large. When viewing these in a display such as we are showing here, you will only see a small portion of the QTL or of the introgress region of the congenic strain. On the other hand, several of the data types in JBrowse are for smaller objects such as BAM alignments of RNA SEQ data, single nucleotide variants, and the reference DNA sequence. In the case of the RNA SEQ data, when the display is zoomed out, a histogram of the coverage depth is shown. Zooming in shows the individual aligned reads. Blocks colored red indicate reads that align with the forward strand and those colored blue are aligned to the reverse strand. Clicking on an individual block opens up a pop-up with alignment data for that specific red. Variant tracks can be viewed when the display is zoomed out. Zoom in to more easily see that the variant glyphs are color-coded according to the effect of the variant. In this case, the variant shown, which is found in DBSNP and in the SBNYGL strain but not in the SBHYGL, is colored yellow and blue in the DBSNP track to show that it is a mesense variant in VPS25 and an upstream variant for WNK4 respectively. It's a mustard color in the SBN track showing that it is a non-synonymous variant predicted by Polyphen to be possibly damaging. The pop-ups for the variants also show that the polymorphism changes in a G in the reference sequence to a C, causing an amino acid change from glutamine to histidine. Zooming into the area immediately surrounding the variant, you can turn on the RN6 DNA track and see the G reference nucleotide and Q amino acid at this location. For more information about JBrowse, RGD has extensive help documentation including a direct comparison of the JBrowse tool with the GBrowse tool that many researchers are more familiar with. This can be accessed by clicking on the help link at the top of the main RGD web pages or by going to the URL shown here. You can also contact RGD with any questions you might have by using the contact us link here. Thank you for watching.